Jeffree Star, 24 hour drama watch. Yeah, yeah. Drama game three, get ready. Yeah, hi, how are ya? I think a lot of people who want to see the end of Jeffree Star are betting on Tati and for to say something. What's going on everyone? It's Rich Lux and in today's video, girl, you won't believe the drama. Okay, oh my god, another day, another Jeffree Star drama. I think we're I think we're in drama game three. I think this this is what's like like that's usually my reaction right now because I don't know I, I I can't keep up right now and I'm kind of like whoa I feel I did not see this coming so first of all I just want to say that Jeffrey Star has lost over a hundred thousand subscribers right now and it has to do with all the stuff that's come out all of the voice messages all the voice memos and I think a lot of people are like you know what if all these people are saying this maybe this is true and so I think Jeffrey Star. Like, I always like to talk about like branding and PR and stuff like that. I think that he cannot get any more drama. He literally cannot get any more scandals with people. He cannot have any falling outs with people because it's like, wow. Okay. And then I kind of felt like, where's Tati Westbrook? She's still gone. And so then I have this like build, build, like what do you call it? Anticipation. Cause I'm like, is Tati going to come out and, and talk about uh, Jeffree Star and how she knew him and stuff like that because I've been watching all these psychic psychic drama channels or psychic you know the psychics of YouTube and they're saying there's this other woman and stuff like that and there's like uh, what do you call that Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star are gonna have like beef with this woman or something and so I, I kind of feel like is ta where's Tante and she gonna, when she comes back I, I don't know. I can't say I, I know because I don't know. But I'm kind of thinking, thinking like, is she going to say something? Is she going to come out? Was this a planned attack? Who's behind it all? Or was it just a serious and unfortunate event? You know what I'm saying? Like, all I can say, literally, when I made my video the other day about what happened in Las Vegas, that literally was my truth. Like, if I walked out of the room and stuff was said that I wasn't there, I can't vouch for that because I wasn't there. All I'm talking about was what, was what happened when I was there. You know what I'm saying? And so maybe because I'm a drama channel, uh, certain people, influencers and YouTubers, they just know not to talk crap when I'm around. I think maybe that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? But I, again, I can't vouch for that. You know what I'm saying? The, the Jeffree Star that I know is the same thing as with Trisha Paytas. She's always been super nice and sweet to me. But then again, people are going to be like, oh, it's because you're a drama channel. And some people will be like, no, because Jeffree Star is a nice person. So you got this constant battle. So you got like these uh, people who do not like Jeffree Star right now. And then you got these people who love him, Dark Heart fans. Then you got these people in the middle who are just like unsure about what's going on, you know? And then you have to keep in consideration all the drama that's been going on is leading up until today, which is the restock of literally everything. All the Shane Dawson stuff, all the palettes, all the lippies, a lot of merch. So it's like, there's always drama and then boom. It's, you know what I'm saying? It's always drama and then like a palette. Or always drama and like a restock and stuff like that. And so when it happened last year with James Charles, I literally was like reporting the news, reporting the news as I as possibly could. Time around, it's like the same thing. It's like, okay, is this a drama game three? Because people are saying it is. If you think it's drama game three, put your comments down below. But then like, I just kind of, I feel like it's, it's all, I think a lot of people are just kind of looking at Tati at this point because she's missing and all this stuff is going on. She hasn't said anything. And then you got a lot of people just aren't saying anything either. A lot of people just aren't saying anything. If you look at all of um, Jeffree Star's ex-friends or people he had a falling out with or people that no longer talk to him anymore, they're not even saying anything at all. You know, it'd be funny if they're putting out tweets like, I just told you, you know, little secret tweets. You know how people tweet stuff but don't at anybody? What do you, I don't know what you call it, sub, sub tweets or whatever. No one's even doing that. So I, I don't even think, do they, are, are they, do they care? Do they know what's going on? But I feel like as a brand, he needs to stay out of the drama right now because it's not going to looking, it's not looking too good at all, I, period. Because people are just, and maybe it's just, and I think it's also due to, this damn ironic girl, I swear. I think it's also due to uh, the climate of what's going on right now that people just aren't. James Charles, if James Charles wanted to be messy and shady, this is her perfect time to come in here and leave comments on Twitter and comments on Instagram, throwing dust and throwing shade and, you know, tweeting it up and, you know, kind of, you know, when someone like you feel like you see something going down and you don't like that person, it's easy for you to go and like tweet something out or be a little shady. You know what I'm saying? He's not doing that at all. James Harden's not doing anything at all. And I kind of felt like, well, for one, 
I think that's taking a high road on James Charles' part because literally he could. He could easily go on social media and just start throwing shade and everyone would live for it. Oh my God. Yes, yes, we live, we live for you. But the fact that he's not being shady, not saying anything, says a lot about his character. And it's, I think that that's great because it's like, you don't want to kick people when they're down type of situation. But a lot of people don't think that Jeffree Star is down because if you compare this to what happened last year, James Charles lost millions millions of subscribers and i remember i got on youtube and everybody else on youtube who does drama was talking about it and counting it down and this time around jiffy star only lost 100,000 subscribers and so it's not that big of a deal but if if it continues like if more people make videos about their experience with jeffrey star or especially, especially if it's like recent ones you know because i i do believe people can change i literally do believe that i feel like the person i was before I have changed. I, but at the same time, you can't get on camera and tell people, hey, I have changed. You got to like be that change. You got to show that change, you know? So people will be like, okay, you, you're going to change. It's more, I think, what, like watch me and I'm going to change. And I think that if Jefferstar wants to win those people in the middle who are unsubscribing and disliking, he has to be that change. It, it makes sense. But then I also kind of feel like, you remember when Jefferstar did this huge giveaway? And Jeffree Star gave away thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars on, on Twitter and Instagram and stuff like that. Remember, it was like this huge giveaway, and then some lucky lady won all this money. There's a lot of people who could who subscribe during that time, and so maybe now those people who aren't really diehard fans are unsubscribing. But I don't know. I think it's a mixture of everything involved, right? So Trisha Paytas put up this tweets because there was like there's all this drama going on that Trisha Paytas was shaded by Jeffree Star. And so I said, I was there during that time. He did not shade her while I was around. Now, maybe when I left, he did. But like I said, when I was there, nothing was said. I can only speak, I can only speak about when I was there, you know? But then if y'all guys see the, the pattern of Jeffree Star's tweets back years ago on Twitter and stuff like that, he naturally is a very uh, catty, kind of shady, what do you call that? Um, there's a, a blunt person, like he'll just say it, right? And so that's why I just find it funny all the time because Girl, damn, like I said yesterday, you know, you talk, you see, you're talking to a friend on the phone. You're like, girl, she walked in here big as a boat. Girl, she walked in here with that same damn dress, with that same makeup. Look, girl, I can't, girl, she's tired. Like, that's very blunt, right? So I think that people are mistaking that for being, um, I just find that funny. I'm so sorry. I can't, even get, I can't even get this together. I feel like people find that rude, right? And so, I, like, if y'all find that stuff rude, I'm sorry. I guess you're not my kind of people because I just find it's funny. I find it. It's just so funny. Okay, whatever. So anyways, so then a lot of people are like saying, this is contradicting the house because in your podcast, you had said this. I had a situation like this recently, actually. It's like, hey, like you're a good person. I just thought I should let you know, like, you know, when you left, they were talking shit about your weight and your skin and your hair and like just triggers all around. I was like, oh my fucking God. And it makes me so angry and it gave me crippling anxiety where I couldn't fucking breathe and this is the this is the night i shane actually facetimed me because i was so overwhelmed and i never come to him with drama this was a situation where i'm just overwhelmed and it was it took him we facetimed for hours and tears and it just and he kind of said the same thing he's like why did that person even tell you you know because some people think they're being a good friend and i guess this is where this debate comes in and you're gonna have your opinion on it and i'll have my opinion on it but my opinion is it's like if it's gonna hurt the person why tell right and so then i was like well 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 this is very interesting team and there's a person on youtube named liam and there's video got copyright strike and they're saying it's jeffree star and they're gonna look into it to see because the thing is jeffree star but it could have been somebody being shady and broke Jeffree Star and all that. And the whole the whole video was about Jeffree Star and how um, I think it was diving into like a psych psychologicalness of the past of all the actions and the drama and leading up and why people stand for them and so like stuff like that. So anyway, so there's that going on. And then from the last time I heard, girl, I'm telling you, I'm trying to keep up right now, but there's like drama after drama after drama. I can't. By the time this video goes up, there's gonna be more drama and more drama and more drama, and I'm gonna be here again, sitting down. So you got you got to keep up, girl. Keep up with the drama is going down. I think it's slowing down though, unless Tati Westbrook comes out and starts some more drama. The only thing I can think of, if I really want to like dive into that, I'm trying to like foresee the future because you know I'm psychic, YouTube channel, whatever. I can only think that she can sit there and say, well, Jeffrey told me this, and then Shane Dawson told me this, and then Tati has to sit there and Tati would say that, I guess I don't know. And she says that, just drama. And then Jerry Starring gotta make a video, and then Shane Dawson gotta make a video, and then I'll address all the drama and like stuff like that, you know? And then Jeffree Star put out that 
Instagram story yesterday where he was he apologized for his past actions and the photos that had went up and a lot of people were saying that's not enough you need to make a YouTube video and stuff like that and so I want to know what you guys think do you think he should make a YouTube video specifically about that sit down like you know and apologizing or you think that was enough because some people they don't follow on Twitter, some people don't follow on Instagram, some people don't follow on Snapchat, stuff like that. And it goes out that way. But that's why people watch drama channels because so much stuff goes on that doesn't have it on YouTube, that goes out behind the scenes, but they come to YouTube to like catch up on drama. But I will say this, guys. If you remember, this happens, and I have been saying this for years. I've been saying this for years. The pendulum always swings, girl. The pendulum always swings. Everyone was hating on James Charles, right? Well, first, everyone loved James Charles. Everyone loved James Charles. Then they started hating on her. She lost millions of subscribers. And then guess what? She gained them all back and then some. And same thing with Jeffree Star. When I first got on YouTube, when I first got on YouTube, everyone was just hating on Jeffree Star. He just started his makeup line. And people were saying all this bad stuff about it and him as a person. And then guess what? The pen pendulum swing and they lived for him. Then they went back and hated him. Then they, they loved him again with the Shane Dawson series. Then now they hate him again and all his drama. So that's what I'm saying. For those of you who are sitting up there and you, you're diehard haters or you're diehard fans, be careful because the pendulum always swings. So I'm just not a flip flip floppy person. I'm just, I'm really not. You really have to hurt me in my soul for me to really just like, you know what, I'm gonna step away. Like this is the true T all day long. Like I have to feel really, per per I feel personally attacked. I have to feel that way to wanna distance myself someone from a person, you know, I guess, but that's like my biggest downfall is because I'm a very loyal person. That's me being a Leo, whatever. But like, there have been times where I feel like people have really hurt me and I just kind of like, you know what, I'm just gonna step away, you know? And that's okay and that's a healthy thing to do. But I kind of feel like Jeffree Star needs to get it together, stop the drama. Well, you're not really, not really, because people live for the drama because you need the drama. But like, get it together in the sense of like, what what's gonna happen next? You know, the beauty community right now, no one can sell a palette to save their life, right? The Jeffree Star stuff, I already know it's gonna sell out because people have been wanting that for, they they building up this an anticipation for this big launch. So I already know that's gonna sell out within minutes, the house, so people have been wanting that. But I'm just saying like new brands are like coming out with like makeup, and they're but they're pushing back the dates. I have seen so much stuff behind the scenes of these huge makeup companies that are like, pushing makeup back like they're not going to put stuff out they're waiting and they're waiting and they're waiting and they're waiting and it's kind of like they need to put it out because if you don't put it out the makeup's gonna get expired girl okay and where's Jaclyn hill i saw Jaclyn hill cooking and stuff on youtube like she don't even do makeup she's a lifestyle channel now so anyways i don't know what do you most think about all that drama do you think tati has a secrets i think tati's the one i think a lot of people who want to see the end of Jeffree Star are betting on Tati and for to say something because un, I don't know. But let me know what you think about all that drama, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, I love you so much.